Okay, hi everyone. Just type a Y if you can hear me okay. Excellent. We've had some wonderful energy, weird things happening, like which happens on a day like today. It doesn't surprise me where the internet just couldn't work and man, everything was having to be mucked around with. But hey, that's great because right now I don't think I doubt that any of us will ever see another day like this in our lifetime where you have a 12, 12, 12. And then in New York, you have a 12, 12, also time for it starting. Then you're in the year 2019, which also adds up to 12. So it's pretty difficult to imagine a more significant day if you tried. And I'm just curious as to who's noticed the energies today and felt the absolute like chaos, the differences and things like that. Just curious, who's really felt the energies and what's actually been happening. Yeah, Alicia, Valerie, Shannon. Tired blood for Isaac, Shannon, massive shifts. Yep, our internet here literally just constantly works without problems. We have a great internet here and I just decided, okay, so I'm on my phone internet right now. So Shannon, massive shifts. So get ready for a really good day and even You'll be part of a new economy in a new way that we'll be doing a lot of our webinars moving forward for activations, which I think most of you are going to be pleasantly enjoyable. And it's in a way, it's a prophetic or sign as to the future of business and commerce on planet Earth. Shannon puts, feels like I'm letting go of a whole life pattern. Yeah, absolutely, Shannon. I can see that with you and feel it. And that's why I felt to in invite you specifically, which I don't normally do. So, yeah. I feel like there's some definite shifts happening for you and there's definitely an increase in energies. Last week I was experiencing stuff in Albany with Grace and some others that's at a different level to just about anything that I've noticed or felt or experienced before. So we're really ending of an ascension cycle is what's happening. In other words, we're ending a phase on earth right now. A phase that's been prophesied and was foretold by many prophets, many psychics, many visionaries, and even the end and how it was going to come to an end and shift into a new cycle was foretold in exact details. Because what's extraordinary is how much it's written down, much of what's been spoken of and said will happen has been happening. And yet most of, and yet most of humanity continues to go on caught up in the 3D, blinded to what's happening. So it's very thankful that all of you are here today. So before we start, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to get everyone just to feel like, just start to breathe into your nose for four and hold for four and out for eight. Because we're going to be calling in the higher energies today and making sure that all the way through this webinar, they'll be with us. So just feel yourself grounded and connected with Mother Earth. And just by your intention of your heart, just Basically, in being sure, just say in your heart, I align myself with the Earth's frequency. I align myself with the Schumann resonance and Earth frequency. And just feel as you do that, and as you see energy going through your feet into the center of planet Earth to your Earth chakra, and just feel how you now start to just feel your energy settled. And I can feel it already starting to happen throughout the webinar. Much better. Just breathe and feel your connection to Mother Earth. To our cosmic divine mother. And now just allow the energy to move through you and go through your crown chakra and connect to the heavens to our Cosmic Father, Father Heaven, and our Cosmic Mother, the Divine Mother. Just feel the energy broadening and expanding. And just send love to your Cosmic Mother and your Cosmic Father, and to Mother Earth. That's beautiful, I can feel the energies moving. And just as we're doing that, 
Just feel a golden crystalline pyramid, a white crystalline pyramid so, um, coming all over you and over this whole group by your intention. And also just feel a golden pyramid coming just 12 inches above your head, like a small one. And all oh, feel the vibrations increase. This is what's called the capstone activation. And just feel a crystal seed pyramid going right into your third eye. Cool. And we just give thanks to all higher energies aligned with the, with the Christ consciousness, with the Arcturian energies and the Arcturian activation high level frequency beings. And with their stellar activation, all aligned with the Council of Nine, the Council of Twelve, the Council of 144, the Sons of Light, the Bunai or the Paradise Sons, and with the Archangels, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Michael, and Metatron, and with the Ancient of Days, the Father, the Christ. And you could feel the energies have gone exponentially higher. If you particularly feel it, just type a Y in the text chat. It's just gone exponentially higher. Yes. Shannon and Alicia really feel it. Just keep feeling it. Fiona, thank you. Anyone else just typing a Y? Uriel is especially here right now. He especially is here for the Ascension Cycle. Archangel Uriel. To send love, to empower, to spread the message. I feel Jesus here as well. Yeah, Alicia loves Uriel. I love Uriel. Alicia, he, he comes to me a lot. Absolutely wonderful. I love Uriel with all my heart. I love all of them. And our oh, Grandmaster Melchizedek. Send love to them because they're sending love to you. They're very happy for the work you're doing and the fact you're here today to be activated and help them in their work. Archangel Michael sending his love too. He's got his sword. He's already working to clear out dark energies, he says to tell everyone. It's interesting. I've never had this happen on a webinar before at the start, as some of you know who've been to my webinars. And just while we stay in this high vibrational state, I'll start to move through the slides now. And just keep in that state and keep sending love and keep in that high vibrational state as we're now preparing to activate your DNA. So very simply, what we'll be talking about a bit today, and a lot of it's going to be very, like I said, sporadic and a little bit kind of flowing and spontaneous and following the slides to a degree. So really the biggest thing that's happening today, this is starting what's called a new age of a higher vibration as we're getting ready to start moving the planet and the people of earth into the Christ consciousness for the guidance of the indigo masters and sons of light to be part of the ascension, the modern what are called Noah's Ark, which is a new energy portal, a higher frequency grid or portal that will allow you to, to enter into the new dimensional earth and new dimensional realms and be part of new intergalactic programs and not be part of what I call the trouble that's, that's basically destined to planet earth ahead. We'll talk a little bit about junk DNA and how to activate your DNA to raise your vibrations. And we're going to be giving you a special gift activation of your DNA and higher vibratory codes. And I've been told to be generous today. 
And what this will be working, this will be very different to what we've done before because I've been specifically told that this is going to be free. And the course that we'll be offering at the end, which will be a three-part course to help you, is not to be charged for, it's to be by donation or tithe, which means that what you will do is you'll give for the course in, in the sense of what you feel and what you're led to give. And same for this webinar today, if you to make a donation, this is what I've been told to do today. And just to open this up, to open up higher energies and higher frequencies, and in a way, Allow the, allow the abundance and the provision for this webinar to come. So this is what I was told to do for this specific one because they want to gift it to as many people as they can to help speed up the activation of this planet. So even if you don't take this up, that's fine. So really who this is for today? You feel something just isn't right. You've definitely felt the chaotic energies on the planet lately and even may, I'm not saying you will, but some of you can feel a sense of alarm or impending doom. And if you feel that, you can actually feel, not necessarily doom for you, but you can definitely feel things are speeding up and there's some definite challenges coming ahead on the earth and you know you definitely don't have any desire to be caught up in them. Just type a Y if you know that to some, that to some degree describes you. Yeah, Christine, definitely. Alicia, Shannon, and Isaac, yep, I've certainly felt it. I can tell you that one right now. Raymond Grace, one of my favorite masters and teachers, basically said to me that, he said in September, he said, don't be surprised to see things go crazy on Earth as the electromagnetic field starts to change. And don't be surprised to see an increase in violence, disasters, earthquakes, um, all kinds of stuff, and even people dying unexpectedly. He said, don't, don't be surprised, Warren, and that's already... Their signs are already about happening. You feel aligned with the Indigo or Sons of Light mission and you actually feel you're part of it. You feel that you're ready to activate your DNA and be part of the move to awaken humanity. So it's more than just getting yourself sorted out. You actually feel like you're aligned with this and in some way this is part of your path to help out with this. Just type a Y if you know that's you. That you definitely can feel that you're definitely part of that mission. Yep, Alicia. Shannon, Bianca, I guess there's a few of you is my feeling. Tash, Christine, yep, we've got some great people here. That's what I can see. Hello, Isaac, more than anything else, yep. You soon realise, and especially when the greatest um, wise man on the planet, King Solomon the Great, wrote in the last book he ever wrote, um, one of my favourite books, that his conclusion about life was everything was completely meaningless, but therefore just enjoy life Fear God and keep his commandments. Well, it's not a bad piece of advice. And three, you're ready to go to the next level and ensure you're part of the ascension cycle. And you can feel that we're definitely moving into that. So we'll be doing a bit of an activation to really help you today. So the idea of this webinar, it'll go for about 75 minutes from start to finish. And at the end, we'll be briefly making, explaining the course and what we'll be doing. And like I said, it will be a free course. And in the sense that I won't be putting a set price and it'll be done by the nation. This is a specific one I've been feel led to do that just to help people and get people on their path. So now what do I mean by ascension? If you've been on a spiritual path, you've heard this term a lot, but what does it mean to ascend? Ascension is about transferring our physical body into a higher, lighter, less dense, more energetic body to return to source. That is to connect with our higher spiritual life, leave this dense body life form, and go back to our original source template. So in other words, the best way to describe it is that throughout history, we have generally, right now, where we're in, we're in a very low vibrational fallen realm. So if you look and go, my gosh, how can we basically be in a planet where people you know, destroy the environment for profit, treat animals the way we do, treat each other the way we do, rape our women and mistreat them, kill people, engage in acts of violence, have governments that do things like they're doing and keep repeating the same cycles over and over again. It isn't that hard to realize that we are in a fallen world and in a fallen vibrational realm and in a way, in a form of dark dimensional hell. And that's really what we're living in. 
And many would ask the question, so then why are we here? And of course, many of those listening here, the reason you're here is because you're here in a way by volunteer to be part of this work, to help redeem this realm and help activate this realm to help as many people as possible who've been spending countless upon countless upon countless of eons and thousands and thousands and thousands of years reincarnating over and over again into the same delusions, repeating the same patterns and to help raise the consciousness of the planet and start to move the planet forward into a new vibrational cycle so people can move on to new levels of intelligence and connection with the intergalactic, what's called community and consciousness. One thing that great but many prophets foretold they said, once the media starts speaking more openly about UFOs and extra intelligence, that's when you know this current cycle is pretty much ended and we're about to enter into a new one. And today, on this 12th of the 12th, they now, first time I've seen it here, in this, in this openly, there was an article in our news and a video shown about a UFO flying over Perth. So I thought, okay, very interesting sign. So in the keys of Enoch by Hertak in the Over Self Awakening by the same author, he talks about the Adam Cadmon original DNA template and the further Enoch and Seth templates capable of creating higher frequency. So rather than evolve, we have what's called involved, which means actually gone backwards. So now we're evolving, which means to move back to source. So if you actually read Dead Men's Secrets and Paradise Planet by John Gray, he actually explains how Many, many, many thousands of years ago, there was actually a time when the intelligence of, of, of Earth was much higher than it is now. All the stuff we have today of internet, mobiles, energy centers, technology, we had that and a whole lot more. We had abilities and stations to connect with the gods and extra intelligence. We had all kinds of things in place. And of course, because of the previous, what's called destruction and karmic cycles of the Earth, it was destroyed. And you can see evidence in various things on the Great Pyramid in Egypt with a 200 metre flood line that's there, as well as the numerous evidence around what's called Noah's Ark and various other floods in Egypt that happened. So we're in this cycle right now where what's happened is there's been a time of great destruction in days gone past. And we've been really coming back. The scary thing is Earth's been given another opportunity to ascend. And those who don't take it, are simply heading for a path where, as Hertak explains, we'll go back to what's called medi, um, meta, meta prime, primal um, original, which means going back to an original Earth of reincarnation and starting their evolution again. So that's why this is a time now where the masters and where everything is moving the people who are moving into a higher intergalactic consciousness into a new Earth or new way of being and moving Earth to a newer vibration and those who choose not to be will basically remain where they are. So there's, going, there's a greater separation coming on the earth between those who are activating a higher vibration and those who choose not to. Notice I'm deliberately avoiding references to good and evil. More those who choose to move into a higher vibration and your higher consciousness and make the service of humanity and the service of, 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 their, of their work as compared to a lower work. So, Although death is one way to leave this body, when we die physically, if we haven't resolved our karma or completed our mission, we just come back. So we've been reincarnating over and over again. And the scary thing is, is that as cycles and programs complete, new ones start again. And those who don't basically get through the cycle have to simply go back and start again. So another way to look at ascension is we're cleansing our karma and finishing our life mission to start evolving and transforming our physical body into light body to return to source where we came from. It's not hard to see that death sickness struggle is not a natural way of being, and I'm sure we would agree. It's very unnatural, in fact. Even the animals and the plants have got this a little bit better than we've got. Plants just simply, I remember sitting watching a tree six, about nine months ago, and just having this connection with the tree, and just having a knowing that the tree was telling me that look at me, I just exist, I just provide shelter, I just provide shade, I'm constantly nourished by the earth. I never stress about who I am. I know that my process comes to an end eventually, but I always know what I'm provided for while I'm in my path. So really, as humans, we're the ones who are insane. We're the ones who are really responsible karmically for what's going on in the earth. And we're the ones now who are be given the mission to, to shift and evolve and evolve the earth.
So DNA activation goes back to the Bible, ancient times. Many great prophets in the Bible, not just in the Bible, but in various spiritual communities, like in the China community, the Baha Vitma community, all of them at once just ascended into the sky in front of many people and disappeared. They had what was called a full ascension where they didn't even die to ascend. They were able to activate their physical body into a full light body and bring and basically tune themselves into the five light bodies and the Christ over self to completely what's called merge their over self and merge their physical body to basically do what Enoch did and what Ezekiel and Isaiah and Elijah and Jesus did, who basically Elijah, Enoch and Jesus didn't even taste death. Ezekiel and Isaiah did taste death eventually, but they did have what's called complete activations into their light body where they were able to move into the higher realms in their, in their full body. So activating your DNA can move you into the highest galactic consciousness. And even if you complete every level of activation to actually not even taste death and go through that. I've always had a little bit of a saying, which is a half was half a joke, but more serious than a joke. But death and taxes, they tell me the only certainties I planned, but both of them would not be part of my reality. So that was why I spent the first half of my life dealing with taxes. Now the next half of my, of my path is dealing with the, is the, is the death and being part of, of, of completing that cycle of death for those who choose to move into what's called a new consciousness. So in Genesis chapters one to five in the Bible, we see people living as old as 969. So it's not hard to envision they were in a different world and template and could communicate very easy with higher intelligence. If you go and study um, science and some of the deeper sciences and study a lot of the spiritual books like Hertak's book, The Keys of Enoch, and some of the other teachings, you will see that, this, that they basically had a, a what's called a Cephian or Enochian or a, what's called a Cadmon template, which enabled them to activate their DNA or indigo is another word of putting it, where they could connect with the higher consciousness and do it very, very easily. So what we're in right now in this physical body, we're in a way in one of the lowest forms of movable, intelligent um, ways of being and the most dense ways we could possibly be. In the Indian and Brahma teaching, they teach Satan, for example, is simply what's called, or the devil, is simply what's called that complete dense matter or complete form and void low dense consciousness that's no longer moving, no longer evolving, stagnating and moving you back into space time and basically causing you to pull away from source and separate yourself. That's what they actually believe and taught. So who's enjoying this so far? I want to make sure I'm not losing anyone who's really feeling the energy and actually getting some kind of insight or just type in a why or yes, something to give me a bit of a idea. Alicia, Steve, anyone getting lost at the moment? Shannon, great. Like I said, giving a bit of um, foundation for this DNA activations and just for this ascension, because I found that when people have a bit of an understanding and can switch their understanding on as well as their energy body, you find the activation is usually significantly more powerful and effective. So that's what I'm aiming to do here for you. Grace is being smart. I'm found, not lost. <laughs> Grace, by the way, everyone is my former wife, and we always have these jokes because she does the work together with me. And I say, you can see why I can see why I divorced her and ran away from her. So we have this joke. And last week we were doing an event, and everyone laughed and reckoned they enjoyed it so much because of our banter. And they said it keeps everything light. So Grace always keeps life interesting, and I do it back to her. So. The DNA activation is accreting light to your morphogenetic field, which is your eight to 15 chakra. So this is to embody your higher self in the 3D and unveil your true essence. So activating your DNA is a must if you desire to ascend back to source. And, every, um, and look, it depends. Some say 26,556, some say 26,500, some say 25,960 60 years. But it's something around this, 26,500 years, there's another shift in the Earth cycle. So there was a recent ascension cycle triggered in December 2017. So basically, this was triggered and we're in the beginnings of the preparation and the planning. And if any of you have noticed a significant change since late 2017, that's why. 
And especially now on the 12th of December, and I was told very specifically to watch for this day, as this was going to be a whole different newer level as things would accelerate and move forward. So to activate your DNA, it's important to awaken your dormant strands of junk DNA. It's a fact that we only use 3% of our DNA. So that's the actual fact. So 97% is sitting there doing nothing. So either that's how it's meant to be, which I don't think so, or else is the reason they're dormant and switched off and no longer working. A fall or involving from higher realms at some time is the only way to explain this. So the idea is to activate your strands and accelerate that process for you. So just most people on the planet today and the majority of people are only accessing the first three dimensions and living more by the 3D and not even activating their fourth dimensional self and not even activating their heart chakra. Now, if, you're, if your fourth dimensional heart chakra isn't even activated, then it's going to be very difficult for you to activate your eight for your higher chakra, higher heart center. And it'll limit your capacity to pour out love and connect to source. So one of the things of learning to do is learning to love. And the biggest thing about DNA activation as well, among the many other benefits in any kind of ascension activation coding is just raising your light vibration and causing your heart to open more and connect more with the divine. I'm noticing these days, my heart feels more and more deeper love as each day goes by. To the point where I find even being around people, I feel love for people, but I find the love of people now doesn't satisfy me as much as the love of the divine and the cosmic love which pours in. So this is about expanding your DNA and your frequency. So just quickly about me, and I've kept it short this time, just so you know, I've been running these things for a while, because some of you wouldn't have heard of me before. I, as I said, I spent many years working in tax and now I'm involved in the awakening within and city awakening, which is more about online healing people and doing activations and city awakening, the more serious work where we're actually involved in spiritual warfare, as well as higher energy work with, with a small number of people. So these are my boys. I, ha I couldn't get a decent photo of Grace. So I've left her out here, my former wife, but she works very close and hopefully she'll give me a decent one soon. These three guys helped me with the work. Um, William, some of you know, and this is my partner, Sammy, and got one of her on the balcony. So definitely what we're doing is moving to a new super earth. And the keys of Enoch use a lot of these codes. I'm deliberately putting them in there because even though they make no sense to you, you'll remember these things and these codes are starting to implant. The way the higher self or higher consciousness works as the Ascension Glossary explains, and also as Hertek explains in the Keys of Enoch and Overconstellation, is in pictographs, or in symbols, or in colors. So words is something that is general, as a much lower vibration and only is used as to help understanding for the linear mind. But our higher self operates more in energies and senses and pictures. And Hertek, for example, himself is involved with Russell Tug and others in a remote viewing process where they do this and and feel into energies and do psychic spying on other planets and things like that so the new super earth is a higher vibrational higher frequency higher density earth in the indian book um, the autobiography of a yogi by yuketswa and yogananda in the last part of it yuketswa actually talks about the high vibrational planets and realms that one can access into and enter once you've actually gone through your process and cleanse your karma on earth so you can then move into new levels of karmic cleansing from other falls and start to accelerate and fast track your learning and fast track your growth so again these pictures won't make sense to you but notice all the colors feel the colors let this just go into you this is your 15th dimensional anatomy this is your 12 strand dna and we got 144 file letters so the idea is basically to activate and accelerate your DNA and awaken it. It's not the main purpose today to do a full DNA activation. It's more an ascension activation, but it's important just to understand DNA and vector codes and understanding that really it's, as Hertek explains, electromagnetic or acceleration codes. So really, 
it's time to, to really embrace once and for all that Source never intended us just to be dropped on this planet, get sick and die, and just go through all kinds of awful, yucky, horrible kind of stuff, and ultimately to eventually, of course, not, yeah, so they get sick, get into a job, have financial struggles, do something that goes completely against your purpose, and then physically die, and then come back and do it again. I mean, it sounds like the most pointless things. And that in itself shows you there's dark and other forces aiming to keep you in this realm and stop you from ascending for their own selfish interests. And the only reason we remain here is while we vibrationally align with these darker beings because we're choosing to engage in the same stuff they're doing. And that is why in a physical body, you have a natural tendency to be pulling away from the source and moving towards the things of the world or moving into the way that the world thinks or the way that the environment around you thinks and making your body and your own needs and everything around you first priority. So hence, as you start to activate, you'll notice a tendency to start moving into a greater desire to serve humanity and, and serve others, as well as yourself, enjoying the abundance of being on planet Earth. So if you're scared of that and you prefer to live a self-centered life and really look after yourself and not start stepping into a higher purpose, which in a way is going to be more sacrificing in a good way, because you never sacrifice to the extent of the martyr. We've moved out of that age now, and we're moving now into the age of what's called the Holy Spirit or the age of Shekinah or the age of the Aquarius, whichever way you want to look at it. But still, it's a life of service. I found for me, the more I give in service, the more I receive. The more love I give out, the more I give back. And it's the best feeling in the world. So, there's a lot of radical shifts going on in the planet, and you can see this right now. And because we're in a space-time vibration, which is so much slower in the 3D than it is in higher dimensions, where everything happens much faster, and time is just an illusion in the quantum realm, this is what makes things challenging. So the truth is, I'd be very surprised if it doesn't happen in the next, in, in, in my lifetime, or even in the coming just the next few years. It wouldn't surprise me if it's happened. But then again, I don't know. Things in this realm go slower than you think. They're speeding up for sure. The biggest thing and the biggest warning that's come from every prophet, every master, every teacher, is you don't know when your times come. You don't know when suddenly you're walking along and you're not on your path. And just like that, your life is over. You don't know when suddenly you're going along and an ascension or activation happens right before you and it will happen behind your eyes and you'll miss it. So this is why it's so important to stay connected with a higher intelligence and make this a way of living while not losing our grounding with the 3D. And that's why I do a lot of exercise. I eat a very fasted life these days to keep myself connected, um, keep myself in top health. So I can stay in really immaculate physical health, mental health, really important. And the truth is as you're serving and moving according with your life purpose, it's much easier because you've got no conflicting vibrations. And what I mean by that is let's say your path and you know deep down is to be a spiritual teacher or your path as you know, let's say is to help humanity in a kind of not-for-profit business or something like that. Or let's say you know that your path is to be in business but basically use your money for the higher good. And let's say you're resisting it. And let's say you're continuing to do something that's very much out of fear. Or you're in a job which you hate but you feel you can't leave. Or you're in a marriage or relationship which is toxic but you feel to stick around under guilt. Um, or basically you're doing things with kids and making your kids your priority. It's not hard to see very, very quickly that your vibration and frequency is lowering, lowering, and you actually will get to the point where you're so blinded you don't actually see anymore when things are happening around you. So understand things are happening right now. If you search, for example, on Google about magnetic pole shift, it's different Siberia. There was 48 earthquakes in 72 hours. There was, there's more stuff happening in Siberia as we speak. We're now seeing weird things on the surface of the lakes coming up, which I can't understand it. I was shown things and visions going on in Siberia that horrified me. We're seeing an increase in disasters. We're seeing what I call a karmic spewing, as Earth is now starting to spew out the karmic effect that's been done by the pillaging of the Earth. And when I had my, I mean, my experience at the Council of Nine, the thing that shocked me, and by the way, last week I was visited by them again when I was in Albany and doing meditation and prayer with Grace and um, 
a few other people like Christine, Natasha, Fiona, and Alex. I was taken into higher vibrational realms and I met them again. And this time I heard a stronger message, but basically I was hearing very clearly that right now, the karma of the earth is causing so much problem in the electromagnetic fields because atomic explosions and things that are being done in outer layers you don't even know about. Nuclear testing is damaging the iron atmosphere, causing problems with electromagnetic grid lines and is causing all kinds of problems in the, in the surrounding planets and frequency space. And they're complaining like crazy to the council of the intergalactic courts to do something about planet Earth. So I've been told in no uncertain terms they're doing something about it. And they pretty much told me, you get out, Warren, and spread the message and speak the message and you, and you do your part. That's your mission. That's why you're here. You're not here just to be some kind of accountant lawyer. That was an old existence. Your financial side is still going to be there because that's the way you can use to help people at a certain level of vibration. But right now, your message is to do this and to tell people to get their asses moving because they said, this, you're heading for serious trouble. And we're, um, what I heard them saying is we are now moving to, we're now moving to judge the actions of Earth and allow this to happen. And the Council of Nine are explained in the Keys of Enoch to be the, the nine extra um, higher level Arcturian beings that have the responsibility to oversee. Um, so Arcturus, they oversee the program and the Earth Ascension program working closely with the Elohim and the sons and the paradise sons and sons of light. So a very important council. And when they start showing up on planet earth, you know, there's serious problems because they don't normally show up all that often. So, and when you've got Uriel, Michael, and many people reporting visitations from them, all the historical prophetic literature will show you that always means we're at the time of the end of a cycle. So this is a critical time and Disasters are not only happening now, I will tell you now, you will see them increase. You will see a greater increase in light vibration. You will see greater miracles and outpourings and opportunities to step into higher vibrational. It will become easier for those on that path. For those not on that path, it will become horrifying. That's the best way I can describe what's ahead and what I was shown in visions and spoken to otherwise. Even a month ago, when I was doing some meditation and prayer, I kept seeing fire and burning and red. And I was like, why am I seeing this? And in the end, I stopped doing it thinking, oh, look, I don't know what I'm seeing. And ever since then, bushfires have raged constantly in Australia. And I've been showing some other things as well. So understand where this, this is what's happening. At the same time, the great thing about a, a realm of duality is as that's happening, there's a greater separation happening to increase the vibrations of consciousness to give people a greater opportunity. So rest assured, the economic system is crashing and will be gone completely as you know it in the next little while. Just about anyone who has any conscious understanding and even many great investment analysts are now saying this. So if you don't have your DNA activated and thinking in terms of a new way of being a new economy, you won't cope. You'll literally go mad and in all likelihood, you'll probably want to kill yourself. And I'm not saying that lightly. 1929, people killed themselves everywhere when the whole system crashed in America. And this will be a lot worse. So if you miss out on attention to source and miss out on these highest connections, there's a real chance you won't cope with these. And in any event, something that I realized recently, you can have all the money in the world, but you start with a clean slate and you end with a clean slate. Whether you ascend, die or whatever. So the reality is running around making that your number one priority in life and not your secondary priority is possibly the biggest waste of time you could ever do. And by all means, I'm not saying if that's for some of you, your path will be in business. Some of you, your path is to bring in the money. But always remember that to keep that daily connection with source, keep those activations coming and using your money and being connected to get guidance, to use your money for the higher good um, of humanity, as well as enjoying the great abundance of planet Earth. So activating your DNA and raising your frequency, um, it'll be like you're going through a cleanse. Out of interest, how many people right now are going through an energetic and even biochemical physical transformation? And what I mean is you feel you're eating less, you're feeling a different like frequency, you might be more tired at times and just wanting to meditate and pray, you're drinking a lot more water, you're eating less and less and less. You just feel like your body is changing. Just type a Y if that's you. Steve, yeah. Nolene, yep. Christine, yep. Shannon, yes, I'm certainly like that. Doesn't surprise me at all. Fiona was, yep. 
Alicia, diet changes water and prayer. Absolutely. So this is a call to do this more than ever before. Tash, yes. Grace, except I can't resist a chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah, well, I still eat my chocolate cakes every now and again, like my manna um, gluten-free chocolate cake. So every now and again, I treat myself with something like that. And I see food now as more something I enjoy eating, not something I, I need anymore. I was told this a couple of weeks ago. The truth is, it says Christ, the great master, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the mouth of God. And there are people today living without even eating anymore, living in the Himalayas. There's a guy I, I personally know who hasn't eaten for 20 odd years. There's ladies in India not eating. I'm eating less and less. And I was shown the truth is, Warren, you can start to move yourself where you don't eat anymore. And eventually you'll hit that stage. Um, where eating will just be a choice more for pleasure every now and again, just to keep enjoying it. And that's where I'm starting to come to more and more and more and bit by bit training my body. So don't be surprised if over the next few years, you change your whole way of eating. So this is a very complicated thing to explain. So for now, I'm just going to keep it simple. In this one. The three day particle conversion is how it occurs, which means as we're changing, the electromagnetic fields of the earth are changing, the particle conversion is changing, it's important to raise your vibration and keep aligned with the changing electromagnetic frequency or you literally will go insane. Especially with 5G towers being put up and others used to tamper with frequencies. So if our frequency doesn't align with the changes, we'll miss out in the same way we can't hear a radio station on the wrong channel. So that's why activations and clearings and staying vibrationally coded is more important than ever before. The Keys of Enoch explains that the planet will change metaphysically, people will ascend to a new higher dimensional earth, and there will be an old dimensional earth, which will pretty much start again from the basics. And some even believe there'll be cataclysms, meteors, bombs, and the earth will effectively go back to a primitive state. And that seems to be my study showing us to what will happen. And in the vision I was showing last year, I saw clearly a new heaven, a new earth, a new planet. And I saw very clearly an old planet destroyed. That was what I saw. And I saw a whole new frequency earth people being moved to and the old destroyed one pretty much was going back to basics and starting again. So like getting an upgrade. So the main thing is, as I mentioned, is that you're probably an indigo if you're resonating with this or at least an angelic human. So the three types of indigos is the blueprinters, the activators and the angelic humans. So the blueprinters are the ones who, who really lead the way, construct the templates, do the study, do all the hard work to find out how the chemical, biochemical DNA blueprint is activated, and then they activate it within the people. There's a very small number of what's called blueprinters. Activators are those who support the blueprinters, but it's, and, they're, and they're leaders to activate humanity. So they work closely with the blueprinters. So they're the ones who hear the message, and there's a good chance there's a few activators on here right now very good chance there's quite a few activators. And activators are generally got a higher template, a higher natural frequency, and quite frequently are born with a fourth strand of DNA already activated quite significantly. So it's very common. Blueprinters normally are very similar. They've got their fourth strand already activated and the spiritual awareness happening within them. Angelic humans are, are basically, they're not indigos, but they support the indigos. So what happens is they tend to not be as activated, but they will listen, hear the message, and immediately respond. They're still generally very much involved in earthly affairs, but they're very aligned and, and supportive of the Indigo mission and will help out as much as they can. So just so each of you here, I'd be very surprised if you're not one of these three. Um, generally, it'll be a type two or a type or the third one, the angelic human. So some of you will instantly know which one you are. Some of you may not actually know. So indigos are here to assist humanity with the ascension process. So it's very important if you feel like you're an indigo or angelic human to start building your strands. And because on top of doing it with yourself, remember in science that now found, we're all interconnected. We're all one body or one energy, one consciousness. We can start to actually pull the higher dimensional frequency, not just into us, but into the Earth's grid. Because as I activate each of you as indigos, or those of you who are indigos or angelic humans, you in turn will activate this energy into the Earth's grid. And 
this will in turn start to increase the frequency where you are right now. So this starts to open the higher morphogenetic field of the earth and starts to, to accelerate the ascension process to get things moving a lot faster to stop stagnating. Just out of curiosity, in the text chat, if you know you're an indigo of some kind or angelic human, just type a yes or why if you know that you are straight away. The moment you hear this, you're like, absolutely. No question. Yeah, Alicia. Yep. Shannon. Yep, and indigos normally are very much as well vulnerable, sensitive, and a bit and a bit of an empath, and vulnerable. Yeah, I would agree with you, Grace. Um, and they're vulnerable to higher forces. That's why to darker forces as well, and that's why it's very important to learn to activate your your frequency, as well as know how to keep yourself aligned with the higher energies. So yes. So what actually happens here is. I find that if you're an indigo, you hear this and something in your heart rejoices. You go, yep, this all makes sense. You know it, you don't understand it all, but it makes sense. If you're not an indigo, you think, okay, this guy sounds like he's had too much pizza. And, or this guy is just basically, just starts taking ice, I think, and not telling anyone. So, these are the kind of things that can happen if you don't activate and if you're not part of the ascension. You, you miss out on being part of the ascension, your third eye can become blocked and keep in mind in a, in a human body, you're always retrograding, which means instinctively naturally going backwards unless you're doing daily activations at work. I notice if I go one day without praying in the morning or doing activations of some kind, by the middle of that day, I haven't done it. I'm noticing a change in me. I'm noticing by the afternoon, things can start happening. Yeah, I noticed by the evening the other day, oh, I went to bed and I was just wiped out and things were going all kinds of wrong with me, and I had to get some help from Raymond Grace to read to clear out some energies for me. So this is what starts to happen. Your ability to attract and create wealth becomes more difficult because you start relying or focusing on 3D and forcing things again. Realize that if you're an indigo, rest assured that this dark realm or the iconic lower realm that we're in, which basically lost the reward of its own, does not want to reward you. So. Basically, if you've got wealth, they want to take it from you. If you don't have wealth, they'll try and block you. That's just common sense. So when you start to connect with your mission as an indigo, you're now drawing in wealth and abundance from higher source. So it becomes a whole lot easier to attract and call in wealth into your life and bring it into yourself. It's harder to feel content and aligned with your path, purpose, and mission if you don't do it. You find a track the poly relationship is more difficult finding that soulmate or that perfect partner. Well, I'm going, you know what? I would love to have a great connection or a great partner, but you know what? If that happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You start to enjoy the cosmic relationships. So I notice people who are very much in the 3D and not doing this, this happens very quickly. To them. And certainly you're far more likely to attract bad health as I found out earlier this year when I got off my path a bit. So now let's start to do this activation and get a bit ready for it. So who's ready for a Indigo Ascension activation? Or who's got any questions before we begin this and start to explain this process a bit more? So yep, there's quite a few. Excellent. Ready? No questions? Good. Let's just get on with it then. So before we do this, I'll just quickly going to do a bit of a detour on manifestation, but it's very important to understand a few basic principles on that is part of this activation. So this is part of the activation in its own way. Because the reason when you activate and shift your vibration, what you're really doing is changing yourself into a holographic energetic being so you start to live more in manifestation in, a, in a, what's called a conscious vibrational state. When you're in a lower state and your strands aren't activated, what tends to happen is various layers of your unconscious are constantly sabotaging or creating things you think you want that you don't want. And a very obvious example that anyone can understand is you say you want a relationship, but then an unconscious vibration might be, I can't trust men and, or I can't trust women. So then you start going, well, I want to commit, but I don't want to commit. And then before you know it, you're sabotaging yourself and got a conflicting vibration. So as you start to your 
information and clear everything out and get more aware of what's going on and what's called embracing and clearing out your shadows by becoming very aware of the duality and shifting yourself out of it, it becomes very easy to manifest what you desire because your desires become more in alignment with source. So rather than manifesting things like, I'd like to be the richest person in the world, well, maybe that's not your path. Maybe your path, that will actually take your path. So you might start to, in my case, I had all these manifestations about being having certain things and being super rich of all these assets. And the more I've raised, I thought, you know what? Like Christ, I'm interested in being highly abundant and living a very abundant life. But you know what? That stuff isn't important to me. I'm, I'd, I'd rather be owned by a foundation, a church, and be used for humanity. I'm more interested in ascending. But three years ago, I would have said something very different. So you start to manifest more easily because you start manifesting more what you want and you become more detached. And you start desiring to shift into a new consciousness. You become less accessible to the dark. You become more aligned with higher vibrational and law of service and serving becomes a joy to you. Grace, for example, I've watched her, you know, she's changed a lot since she's done that and started to get activate and cleanse DNA and shift. And then she's now doing that more. That's why she's doing a lot of service because she loves doing it to help humanity. So manifestation is taking control of your thought processes and active and creating your own hologram. Your unconscious thoughts or choices are constantly creating your reality. That is, it is your thought and focused attention which creates your reality. You can transform your reality by higher vibrational thinking. So this is the whole point. So what I normally do, and this is a very basic outline, a 17 step manifestation or seven step manifestation process. Um, Create, formulate the manifestation, ensure you're in the right brain state. So I'll show you in pictures to make it easy. So get a bit of an idea what you desire to manifest. Make sure your brain state is basically in what's called a theta or alpha, a deeper state. Command the result. Clear blockages around it. Take some kind of action. Let go and let God, in other words, completely let go of it. So if it's around, say, having a relationship or a partner or a lover, um, basically, yep, it's letting go in the moment you set the manifestation. If it's about having an abundant, being an abundant new work and doing what you're doing your purpose as a teacher or a special kind of business or a special kind of investment or as an investor who's here to invest and use money for the higher good, you create the manifestation and then just let go. And then you've got to watch for the signs and the clues because Synchronicity, as we saw last week in Albany in our event, it was incredible. And those who were there would remember the synchronicity that just kept happening over and over. The signs and clues that kept happening to show you the path and that you're on the right path. And I've been asking a lot of questions about unraveling mysteries of the mystery school and higher teaching. And I've been astonished how I'll ask a question and literally within minutes or hours or just or days, I will find something that will reveal the answer to me. This morning, there's, a, there's a, a, an ancient vibrational scripture prophecy, which doesn't make sense to me, but I've always felt was significant. And I asked for the answer today. And about an hour later, it was revealed to me very clearly through an a unexpected sign. So these are the, this is the basic sequence. So as we activate your codes and increase your vibration, we start preparing you to move into a higher vibrational way of being. So now why do we use codes? It's very simple. Your subconscious mind and a higher etheric or energetic body, and yes, I know I've said this before in the webinar, but it's very important to repeat things to make sure it really infuses into your consciousness and you get this. And the Keys of Enoch uses lots of pictographs and codes for that reason. It activates your pineal gland, your chakras, your higher chakras, and to clear out lower vibrational thoughts, forms, energies. We go by energy, not by words, especially when it comes to our unconscious mind. My son, William, he was out dancing the other night and he said he's always having girls just approach him and try and make moves on him. Whereas his friends are like, what are you doing, William? Like, no one's doing this with me. And he just said, well, he goes, I don't know. But he tells me, he goes, well, he goes, I don't say any words. I just basically focus. I say in my energy, I enjoy, I'm connected to source. And he said, and I just basically, I know my body language because I'm in my energy and my power and I'm centered. And when I look at someone and think I like to dance with her, I'll just look at her and allow my energy to project to her. And then of course she comes and we dance. And he said, that's basically all I'm doing. 
And the funny thing is of him, I say, well, do you ever get a number? He goes, no, not really. He goes, I'm not interested in that, Dad. He said, I'm interested in my path right now. And I just go to dance just to enjoy it. So the truth is, as you raise your frequency, whether you can enjoy the, these things of life, if that's where you're at. I enjoy going swimming a lot. I connect a lot when I do swimming. I, I enjoy watching ice hockey, for example, and doing and, and playing and having fun with um, betting and, and, and having fun with ga on, on ice hockey and, and some other sports. That's, for example, one of my things. That's one of the way I keep myself from getting too in my head and too out of my body. So there's a balance between being in your energy field and in your body. So personally, I'm convinced, as is shown by much research and literature, the main reason why many people get into unhealthy addictions like too much sex, too much alcohol, too much drugs, too much of anything is because they're trying to get out of their head and into their body. So that's why having a ritual or routine to stay in your body, especially on this ascension process, is very important to keep you centered. So now let's start to do an ascension clearing and activation for you. So we're going to be using these codes, okay? We're going to be doing three codes. This one, all the Vekas, and the Akasha code, okay? Three very serious codes. So what I want you to do now is breathe into your nose for four counts, and hold for four counts, and breathe out of your mouth for eight. And this is going to basically help you right now where you're at. So just what you can do is as you're doing this breathing, just once again, get that reconnection to the center of the earth. Just be, be aware of it, of your energy going to the center of the earth to mother earth and going straight to father heaven and the, and the divine mother. This way, as we do this activation on you, the activation is going through heaven and earth. So really make that in your intention. Being aware of the crystal pyramid around you, the golden pyramid above your head in the kepheric field. And you'll be feeling the energies exponentially increasing. And I've got a vortex as well to even uh, magnify the earth's energies in you, going up to 100 times the speed of light, 1,000 times the speed of light to activate the Merkava. Oh, I'm shaking a bit now. Just focus yourself on this code and breathe it in your third eye. Keep breathing. Four through the nose, four hold, eight through the mouth. It is commanded that the Bayebeka code or the Maharati Mueva code be used to activate each and every person in their 12th dimensional consciousness, right within their pineal, right through the grids of the earth, right to the higher chakras, on all levels and all dimensions to activate higher frequency, to create higher light frequency in each and every person now. Just feel the energy is going right through you. It's cleansing out any impurities and just opening up for a whole new level of consciousness and the higher prior priority clearings. Okay, starting to clear now.
Now, what we're going to do is just look at this and breathe all these codes into your third eye. It is commanded that the Tribeca Code, the Kuveca Code, the Darbeca Code, the Rabeca Code, or in other words, the Kira Shehasha, Kusha Deza Dadru Asia Ra Eka Code be activated in each and every person's third eye and, and in their chakras and in all levels and all dimensions to Mother Earth right through to Father Heaven and Divine Mother now. Just feel your frequency increasing as we're doing this. Yeah, wow, that's just really lifted everyone's frequency. Just keep it going. In fact, it's just, yep, clearing's been done. Let's now do what's called the key, the ekasha. Umma etre ina e ekasha. Just breathe this code into your third eye. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms, the chemical powers, and by the higher frequency and by the divine realms of Melchizedek that this Ikasha code be used to activate each and every person on all levels and all dimensions, all frequencies now. If you haven't already, just inhale it in your third eye. Just keep feeling this code go right through you. I'm just going to recite some Sanskrit over you again, just to embed these codes. Maharate mu eva kira shehasha kasha deja dadru eja ra e ka um na etle ina e e kasha. And I'm just going to do some sound. Mm. And just do that as well yourself, just once. Just do that mm, as I just did it then with me. Mm.
And one more time. That sound, by the way, is according to Yogananda, the exact vibrationary code of the Holy Spirit or the higher spirit. So you could feel energy buzzing through you. Just take a glass of water if you've got one and any questions before we end and go just through what we're gonna do moving forward, the courses that are available and like I said, the donation base and just We'll spend the last five minutes after questions going through that. Just what's going to be coming up and what's available. So any questions, just take a glass of water and just share your experiences in the text chat. I'd love to hear what happened to you. Okay, Christine feels very sleepy. Alicia, that was awesome, much lighter and energized. Shannon, feel the restored sense of harmony, less chaos in my system. Yeah, excellent. That's exactly what happened, Shannon. And Alicia, exactly what happens. Christine feels sleepy and Valerie almost fell asleep, which is a good sign because that means you moved into what's called a theta brain state, which means that the activations happened on a very deep level. So that's wonderful, everyone. Anyone else to share or before we complete? Bianca, thank you. Oh, thank you too, Bianca. Hope you felt some shifting in you. Anyone else before we move on to complete things? Grace, you should be very impressed. I've kept right to time so far. Grace always gives me a bit of pass for analysis to me about my about timeliness. So there you go. Grace, I know you started on time. Yep. So look, this is all part of the changes that's happening. So just to give you a bit of an idea what's coming up next. So Ascension Upgrade Program. Now keep in mind that what we've got, I've decided to do, like I said, there's a high level Pista Sophia Ascension after the Great Ascension Program that's only going to be for committed what's called tithing members or donors, which is something where it's a few of you already hear part of that. So this is more going to be a just a general what I call planetary one, a three kind of webinar, free webinar sequence, just to basically give everyone a bit of a boost and kick along. So just a bit of an ascension program to help you be ready to be part of the ascension progress process and activate your DNA and do more activations. So this will include brain power increase to focus and concentrate better. 
Heal yourself and better connect with higher self and healing and other psychic powers. Greater connection with source, galactic realms and higher intelligence. Basically start in the process of having your fathers and strands switched on. Obviously this is a very long and um, exact and detailed process, but this will give you a bit of a quick start. This is gonna be giving um, not just you, but the planet and where you're physically based a kickstart. The beauty of webinars and doing this is it means we can get the codes activated in other parts just by you being elsewhere. Clearing the highest priority blocks draining life force energy. Activating and balancing your chakras to draw as much energy as possible. And really the ultimate aim of any is to start the process to return to your divine blueprint to go home, be part of the ascension process and be part of the new earth. So just to give me a bit of an idea, it's like I said, this is going to be a free kind of um, class introductory thing that will be gift to people. Who'd be interested in just being part of that? And like I said, it'll be gift and it'll be by donation. What we would do is say, look, these are the kind of donation things or amounts we've charged in the past. But I rest assured, I mean it when I say, I'm, this, is, this is a gift. If you don't have a lot of money, come along and just enjoy and be part of it. So that's the whole idea. There's no pressure on you to donate for this. So that's actually incorrect. It's meant to be three. So any, just give me a bit of an idea in the text chat. Who at least interested in being part of this? Just so I know who we can invite. Alicia, Nolene, Valerie, Christine, Shannon. Yep, great. Excellent. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually, Steve. Yep. And like I said, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing this. So it's going to be three. I don't know why I've put um, six, but anyway, it's three. Just to give you a bit of an idea, that was about what I paid when I got it. So when I got a full one. So this is, a, this is gonna be a complete free gift, like I said, over the next few days. And like I said, it doesn't matter if someone pays $10, 50, 100, 200, 300, whatever, they, whatever you feel led to. So what I'm gonna do is for those of you who feel like you'd like to give a donation for the day, and like I said, I'll just put the, I'm gonna put the link into the text chat and on the screen. And like I said, this way, I'm not even gonna ask you who's gonna do it or not. This just means it's entirely up to you. So I'm putting it into the thing. And like I said, if you quite just feel today, you know what, I've enjoyed this. I enjoyed getting it for free. And I'll, I'll come to the course. And then if the course gives me value, I'll donate then, that's fine too. Or I'll start donating after the first one. So that's the link. Like I said, this is new ground for me. No idea how this is all gonna go. Um, here's the link. So that's the link there right now, and I'll put it in the text chat for you. So before we complete this webinar, any more questions? Don't be surprised if you see a change in it. And by the way, don't do too much tonight. It just take it easy, relax, um, and just enjoy. That's the most important thing. So just relax, just enjoy tonight. Just take it easy, have plenty of water. Don't be surprised if a lot happens over the next three days because an activation that deep is gonna take a few days to fully integrate into you. So anyway, thank you very much everyone. And we'll let you know more over the next few days about the activation program and what's going to be coming. Yeah, my pleasure, Tash.